Hello, I'm the Guitar Geek, and I'm here today to talk to you about this, the Soundbrenner Pulse Vibrating Wearable Metronome. Soundbrenner have sent me this to test and demo, but I'm not being paid for this video. All the views are my own, etc, etc. That's out of the way, let's talk about the product. I like it, in a nutshell. What it does is it takes your ears out of the equation when trying to keep in time. There is a learning curve. Um, so if you record in a studio, or if you play in a band with a click track, or if you just want to improve your practicing with a metronome, which I highly recommend, this thing can help you. So that's it really, that's just an additional watch strap, and Sam Brenner have also sent me this, which is the body strap, which is pretty cool. Um, so for drummers or something, you can have it on your chest, or around your leg, or on your arm, any way you fancy really, um, on your head. So what it does is, you can sync it with your phone to a metronome app that's free from Soundbrenner. You can also use this app just as a metronome app, and I use it anyways. It's a really good metronome app. To, um, to wear it, you just pop it in this strap like this, and then pull that down over there, and now it's a watch. And to switch it on, you just rotate that dial, hold two fingers, there we go. When you're finished and you want to turn it off again, rotate the dial, two fingers, Done. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to connect the Pulse to your smartphone. This is an Android, but the process is the same for iPhone. Firstly, go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and download the app Metronome, which is by Soundbrenner, really easy to find, and it's free. It's actually a great standalone metronome app, but it does sync with the Soundbrenner Pulse, that's the kind of point of it. Then you load up the app and you go to Settings and you register or log in. I've already registered, so I'm going to log in. Uh, it's got my name and everything, it's got the app settings, but the first thing I want to do is to add the Soundbrenner Pulse. Yes, turn on Bluetooth, because it connects via Bluetooth. Add a Soundbrenner Pulse. Um, so, where the device, important. Next. I don't know why it needs the location, but it didn't kind of work when I did it before, and I didn't allow the location. Turn the wheel and place two fingers flat. That's going to turn it on. Ooh. Got it. You can turn it off doing the same thing. Um, I'm going to ignore that because it messes with my phone. I've renamed my pulse to One Vibey Boy because it vibes. Connecting. Connected. Okay, next. It gives you a little tour. And that's how you sync it with your smartphone. Pretty simple. Uh, what you do then is you go back to the app and you press play. There we go, and we're, we're rolling. There we are. You can also use this to sync the tempo from your DAW on your Mac. It currently doesn't work on Windows, but Soundbrenner say that they are working on this. Uh, I use Logic Pro X, and I could not find a guide anywhere on how to do this, so I've included one here in this video. Um, this is the feature that I'll be using the most when using this Pulse, because I want to be able to use this to record and use these demos and my personal work without hearing that annoying click. Here we go, there's my mouse. I've installed the DAW tools, and first thing to do is to turn the Soundbrenner on. It's searching for a Pulse. I've renamed it, because you can using the Android app. There we are, we are now connected to the Pulse. That's connected here, and if I tap on the Pulse, you can see that coming up on the screen. Pretty cool. What we do then is go to Logic, and the easiest way to set this up is to right-click the control bar, customize the control panel, and include Sync just here. We now have this new option here. I'm going to go to Synchronize Settings, and go to MIDI, and here, destination one, Soundbrenner Door Tools. So there's my MIDI ports at the moment. That's Soundbrenner Door Tools. And then, then I need to click this again for some reason. I don't know why. But re-click Sync. And it is working. So if I go to the, there it is, it's syncing there. A really important thing here is also to auto-compensate plug-in latency in the, log in the logic settings, because if you don't do that, it 
kind of is okay, but if you look here, we've got a latency that changes. So by clicking auto compensate, it, the clock on here and the clock on logic will stay the same. So it now means I can turn that off and still stay in time with my music. That was my goal. This is the thing I'm going to use it for. Um, because when I'm making videos for you guys, I don't have to listen to that really awful tick, 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 tick. So, on to the review. Uh, I think it's stylish, I think it's sleek, it's not too cumbersome. I think that this is a great addition, that's the, uh, the body strap. One thing I will do is I will update this video um, in about a month. So I'm going to be using this in the studio, in my demos for about a month, and then I'll post a second video. If that's already out, then it'll be in the description down below. As is the link if you want to buy one of these. I will reiterate that I'm not getting paid for this, but I'll send a Toman link to you via this video description. If you buy it from Toman, then it sends a little bit of Toman points my way, which means I can buy more stuff like this to review for you. I'm going to give it an official go buy it endorsement from the Guitar Geek because I think it's going to improve my musical life. I think it's going to improve my YouTube channel, and I think with the price, which is around 99 euros, it's affordable. And considering how much I'm going to use it, and to get rid of that really nasty click from Logic, which I've had in my life longer than I haven't had it in my life, it's worth it to me. If you want to see more from me and more on this in about a month, then go click subscribe. Other than that, thank you so, so much for watching. This is the Soundbrenner Pulse, and I'm the Guitar Geek. See you in the future video. Bye-bye.